Hey guys, Thunderhound369 here, and today we're going to be stepping back in time. That's right, get out your DeLoreans, your TARDISes, whatever kind of time machine you roll with, just grab it and go. Today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Generation 1 Autobot Power Master Getaway. But before we go any farther, I want to take some time to do a little bit of housekeeping. You guys may have noticed the new logo or intro or whatever you want to call it floating around. I'd like to say thanks to my good buddy, The One, The Decepticon, for coming up with that design for me. So, thanks, thanks, bro. You're awesome. You rock. I love it. Just absolutely love the new logo. So, anyway, if you've never checked out The Decepticon's channel, I suggest you get over there and check him out. Because he is one awesome dude for doing something like that for me. So anyway, thanks V. Everybody go check him out. But now, let's get on with this. Here we have Getaway in his vehicle mode. I've got his tech specs pulled up. We'll go ahead and take a look at those. His motto is, run hot, but always keep your cool. An escape artist without equal uses finesse and logic to get out of any situation possesses ex expert tactical and strategic military skills binary bonded to rev a smooth running 600 horsepower racing engine hi damn I need that in my Pontiac woohoo reckon he needs a job since we got G1 going no more you need a job you go jump in my Pontiac or do uh, Equipped with bulletproof windows and shell-resistant battle armor, built-in onboard computers can be programmed for long-distance navigation, armed with a double-barreled plasma shell shotgun. And I want to point something out on that when I get to it. Uh, he's got a strength of 4, an intelligence of 8, a speed of 6, an endurance of 10, rank 7, courage 10, firepower 6, skill 8. So anyway, here we have Getaway in his sports car mode, his race car mode. You can see I've had this guy for quite some time. You know, he came out in, what, 1988? And as you can see, I've, I've had him for quite some time. He's got a little bit of yellowing going on, sticker wire going on. So he's been quite well loved, you could say. You know, most of the stickers are still applied, but you can see where they're wiring off on the window and right through here. Got a nice little sticker back here on his rear spoiler. Front windshield's just paint, and then you got a sticker above that. Underneath, no robot cable whatsoever for a G1. Anyway. Like I said, he's got that double-barreled plasma. I want to point that out because I got that right here. As you can see, that's his plasma rifle, but uh, I only see one barrel. So, anyway, where they're getting the secondary bar barrel from, you know, I mean, it could be here, or it could be under here. You know, I, I don't know. Just molded blue plastic. Got some fairly decent detail molded into it. And it just pegs onto the top of the car just like so. Then we got rev here just in the front. It just clips in. Nice little engine block design. As you can see, it's got quite a bit of wire to it. So like I said, I've had this guy for quite some time. The transforming is really quite easy. You just unfold his legs. And there you have him in, in his Power Master, his bot mode. Now he does have some fairly decent detail to his face. You know, it's just more or less painted, if you can see it. But in his chest, he's got some nice little detail on his chest. It's, now his arms will move. They're just on a peg swivel here. But, you know, it's kind of tricky to get them to move because most of these power masters, head masters, stuff like that with these arms, the way they're in there, they have a tendency to break off. So, 
I don't necessarily move the arms and other articulation just basically in and out at the hips and in and out at the knee you can break his leg there you go so we'll go ahead and put him back in his engine mode we'll transform get away real quick now one thing about it you know you had the transformation for this guy basically starts at front you pretty much pull that down but the power master has a little gimmick you notice there's a little button here now if you lose your power master there is a way you can transform him without him so basically you just put him in like so push down comes apart if you lose your power master however you just stick your finger in here and push down on this little blue button no big deal other than that, pull back, flip up. Now, you, that sounded that sounded god awful, didn't it? Flip all that around. Come in here, flip out his little toesies or his little feetums, whichever one you prefer to say. And pull out the doors like so. Now. Here you got to pull the hood, the top of the car, actually pull forward and rotate. And then rotate him at the hips. Push him back together. Push back the car down and flip out his little hands. Bring those down. Come out, come out. Oh no, he has no head. He has no head. Adjust the camera. Basically, on a spring. And there you have getaway in his bot mode. We can go ahead and put the rifle in his fist. I believe about the last time I actually remember seeing this guy in any kind of fiction whatsoever, I think was, uh, what, Transformers issue, the old Marvel series issue 80, I think. Was the last time we've seen this guy in any kind of fiction? Hopefully they'll get around to bringing him back in the new re, uh, Regeneration series. I hope. You know, like I said, you know, if you don't necessarily feel like trying to keep, you know, babysitting your Power Master all the time, you can come back here. Just clip him back in if he'll stay. Sometimes he has a tendency to just fly right out for no reason just be standing there and all of a sudden you hear something go kathunk and you look and revs fell out the back of getaway so I've, I've had to keep a quite a good eye on this guy over the years I actually lost him for about three months and I just found him like two weeks ago <laughs> you know he just must have took decided to take a vacation so anyway there he is as you can see he's still very well worn Fairly decent look to him. Got a little bit of a backpack. Not too bad for a G1 though. Not too bad at all. Nice little head sculpt. Just barely does clear his chest plate though. You just barely can't get him to clear up on that. Got the yellow face. Yellow eyes. As far as his articulation, his arms will come out to here. Bends at the elbow. And you could say he goes in and out at the wrist does have a very noisy waist joint knees of course that's just for the transformation got these little screw holes so as you can see the stickers have come off it was, was stickers right here but they've come off over time so it's mostly due to where they keep going in and out and rubbing right through here but anyway This has been my look at uh, Generation One Power Master Getaway with his power with his Nebulum partner Rev. Do I recommend hunting this guy down? Yeah, I I highly recommend hunting him down if you can find him for a good price on eBay. Pick him up.
You can find him laying around at a flea market or a garage sale for a really decent price. Really get him. But just make sure he's complete. Especially, you know, you got the Power Master, but you can still transform him without it. So anyway, guys, this has been my look at Transformers Generation 1 Power Master Getaway. I'm Thunderhound369, and again, thanks to V Decepticon for the new logo. Guys, I'll catch y'all later. I'm out of here. See y'all.